Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am Brian. Thanks for coming back for another video. Today, I'm stepping way outside my comfort zone. I am going to do a pour called a flip and drag. It's a pour that a lot of people have done. I personally saw Molly with Molly's Artistry do it first. Um, so that's what I'm going to try to recreate, obviously using different colors. But I am going to use the technique that she did in one of her videos. So I will link her video in my description as well. So I'm going to get you down on the canvas and we'll talk about the canvas size. We're going to talk about the colors and I'll talk about how I'm going to flip and drag this. OK, all right. I'll be right back. I'll get you down on the canvas. All right, so what I've got here is a 16 by 40 gallery wrap canvas. I have not painted my sides because I'm going to use a white base. Um, and then I'm going to pour my colors out. So uh, in order to determine how much uh, paint you're going to need on your canvas, you want to multiply the length times width. So you're going to multiply 16 by 40 and then you're going to divide it by 28 and you're gonna get about 23, you're gonna need about 23 ounces of paint. So I have pre-mixed my paints already. Um, they're a little on the thick side um, because I want them to uh, leave like a mound on a mound, basically. So the colors I am using today is gonna to be Amsterdam's Permanent Blue Violet, which is this here. Beautiful, beautiful color. Um, then I'm going to be using Amsterdam's Pearl Blue. I'm using Amsterdam's Thalo Blue. I'm using Deco Art 24, uh, 24 karat gold metallics uh, Americana decor, 24 karat gold. Uh, this is a new one I'm using, Creative Inspirations Sap Green. And then I'm using Amsterdam's Copper. So what I'm going to do is I have two 16 out cups and I am going to split all the paint up between these two and I'm gonna do them in a dirty cup pour. What I did is I poked a hole in the bottom of the cups with the end of a, like a pin, a push pin, and taped up the hole. What I'll be doing is I'm going to be pouring the paint into the cups and then I am going to flood the canvas with the white and then I'm going to take the paint and I'm going to dump it over like so. Let it sit for a few minutes and let it kind of settle down into the bottom of the cup until it reaches the canvas. And then I'm going to pull off the tape, allowing the hole to breathe and allow that paint to start to flow out. Now, as it starts to flow out, I'm going to slightly raise the cup and I'm gonna drag it down. And once I get both of them dragged out, then I'm going to tilt the paint around. In hopes, this is going to make a really cool looking piece because it's gonna have the white and it's gonna be white in between the two pores. Let's pray that this color palette works out. So. What did I mix my paints with? So my white base paint is Artist Law Flow Acrylic White, and it is mixed with a pouring medium of 50% Floatrol, 50% GAC 800, because I don't want this piece to crack. So I don't want the white with all the other colors on top to crack. So that's what I'm using as the base. The uh, colors, all the colors are pretty much mixed the same. Um, I did use a, a scale to measure them out, but then I just kind of equaled, uh, leveled them out a little bit by eye because I look at it and I want to make sure it's got a mound on there. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So that is mixed 50% Floatrol, 25% pouring medium, which is a gloss medium, and 25% of the paint. The pouring medium I did use today is a product called Daler and Rowney. 
Um, I did not use the mix pour in this. I wanted to give this a try just to see the difference between this and the mix pour. And uh, that mix pour is amazing stuff. And um, I'm still gonna use it, but I just wanted to try something else. That way I get my hands in different products so I know how things work. Uh, but the, the mix pour is amazing stuff. You can order that from Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I will start layering uh, my colors in the cups. I will uh, let you see it, but I'll speed it up because it's gonna be a little bit of a lengthy process. So, But I'm gonna dirty cup uh, do these, so I'm gonna just pour the colors in and let them do their thing. Okay, these are the colors. They're wild. Right, I'm gonna set those to the side. I am now going to get my white on the canvas. So here's my Artist Loft white with the 50% Floatrol, 50% GAC 800. splatter everywhere. Um, how can I do this to be a little bit easier? One, two, three. That was a terrible pour. One, two, three. My paint fell off the side over here. Hope it still works. the tape. Colors are beautiful.
so sorry guys, you can't see this. I just don't have a table big enough to turn this thing around. What I don't like is this right here. So I don't have enough paint, I know for a fact, but I'm just going to pour what's left onto this into a cup and see what I get. Got paint already on the canvas, obviously, so I don't need to flood it with any more paint. Gonna try to stretch this out, see what happens. is a happy and amazing accident. Could I do this again? Eh. I wouldn't want to do this again in the same order of steps that I did before because what was on this canvas was terrible. All these white dots, cells, were coming back up through there. I could have tilted too much or it could be the Artist Law Flow Acrylic White. In any case, happy accident. I'm okay with this. Um, I'm gonna torch this. All right, I'm gonna bring you down off the canvas. I will show you where we are now. Be right back. All right, guys, here is what I'm calling my happy accident. <laughs> Uh, this is not the pour that I planned, and I am shocked that I was able to get this result to come back up. Um, I did not like what I had previously. I'm glad I ended up changing it up. This is why you always make a little extra paint than what you actually need for your pour, and I barely had enough myself, so uh, note to self, maybe I need to make even bigger batches. But in any case, I'll bring you in for a close-up. We'll start up here in this corner. You know, it's very galaxy-like. Got the deep blues and purples. Got a lot of these giant gold cells. You know, it's just, that's what gold does. Some white cells down here trying to pop back through again, but it's not like it was before. It looked like I might had white chicken pox. <laughs> um, I'm loving this blues that's stuffed through here. It's gorgeous, um, the purples. And it's kind of like a fade effect. So as we make our way down here, you can see there's a lot of the gold and the green and the uh, copper right here. But then as we make our way up this way, you start to lose the green and the copper. It's kind of fading up into the blues and the purples. I like that. So I'm glad that's how this came out. Again, I barely had enough paint, but... <sighs> It's a happy salvage. All right, guys, I'll show you what this looks like dried. I'll be right back. All right, everyone, here is the dried result. This is the one I'm calling the save of a lifetime because there was so much paint 
that I used on this canvas and I just didn't have the heart to scrape it because the first part of it just did not come out the way I wanted to. But I'm very fortunate that I put some more paint on the, can on the canvas and retilted. So this came out much, much better. Um, the gloss in this is just fantastic. I don't have any, um, any clear coat over top of this, but when I bring you in, you'll be able to see the gloss on this. So, um, just beautiful. Let me see if I can get you in here. You can see, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but I'm telling you there is a gloss sheen to this from that Liquitex gloss medium. Just beautiful. I'm loving all the lines and the shading of this. So, as you come down here at the bottom, you see a lot of purple, a lot of those gold cells there. But then as you make your way up, then the blues start to come in. Still see that gold, which is fine. And then as you make your way up, you start to see some more, you start to see green and blues and purples. So it's really just a fade effect that happened with this, which I'm very, very happy with. I call this my happy mistake. Really came out wonderful. So as always, everyone, my pieces are available for purchase. All you have to do is email me directly at Brian's Upper Valley Artistry at gmail.com. Don't forget to leave me some comments below. Let me know what you think of the piece. Give me some thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. That'll help me grow my channel and hit that notification bell that'll let you know when I do post new video content. Sorry for the dog toy there in the background. My dogs love playing, so. All right, everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.